Jamie, this is the first big test for Democrats, but in Virginia and nationwide, why is it that it seems like Democrats continue to just be running against Trump? He's not in office. Well, listen, Stephanie, uh, I, I wouldn't say this is the first big test. Uh, we had to fight back and push back against a recall in California. we got a race in New Jersey right now and Virginia as well. And this is the thing. Donald Trump, if you ask the Republicans, he's still the head of their party. Uh, Rona McDaniel has said that often. Uh, we see that in terms of how the Republicans react. And he has endorsed Glenn Youngkin six times in this race. Uh, and so his presence is looming still in American politics. And so, therefore, it's important that the voters in the Commonwealth of Virginia understand that Youngkin is a, a, a Trump acolyte. This is a guy who's against marriage equality. Last time I looked, it is 2021, Stephanie. Uh, and this guy is against marriage equality. He just has an ad out where he, I guess he wants to ban books like Beloved, written by <laughs> amazing authors like Toni Morrison. I mean, uh, again, it, this sort of harken back to this old past that we've had in this country, where there's only, uh, there's certain elevated communities. Uh, that's what Youngkin represents. And it's important that we educate the voters in, in the Commonwealth that that's who he is. Trump is a looming threat, but he's not in power. Democrats are. And right now, Democrats have not gotten anything done on infrastructure, voting rights, gun reform, and police reform. How do you get voters energized in Virginia for Democratic ideals, not just against Trump? Well, this is the thing, Stephanie, with all of the issues that you mentioned, those are things that are in progress, right? It's been nine months since Joe Biden uh, has been president of the United States. And what has he gotten done? He got the American Rescue Plan done. And in and of itself, if you look at the size of that bill and the things that it actually did and accomplished, uh, is nothing short of amazing. I mean, take one aspect of that alone, just the child tax credit. It has cut poverty in childhood poverty by half. Nothing has ever done that in the history of this country, and we were able to get that done. We saved pensions. We got shots in arms. We did so much in that bill, and there's right now Congress is negotiating on some more big things in order to get done for the American people. So, uh, again, you know, this process ain't an, uh, a fast one. I know we are all sort of McDonald's Burger King mentality where you can just go through the fast uh, drive through and get something done and get it done in a hurry. But that's not how the legislative process works. You've got to do the negotiations and move things forward. And we're on the brink of doing just that. So I'm proud of what we've done so far. I know we're going to continue to deliver for the American people moving forward. Are you worried that Democrats overpromise because that three and a half trillion dollar human infrastructure bill had tons of great things in there. But at the end of the day, you're not going to be able to deliver on a lot of it. And base case, even if you only get the trillion dollar bipartisan infrastructure deal, that's a huge win. But at this point, do Democrats feel like it's a win? They were promised a lot more. Well, listen, I, I think the, the folks on Main Street, people in the uh, uh, beauticians and in the barbershops, in the end of the day, they just want to see that Congress is working for them. It's trying to get things done. And, you know, you don't always get all that you want all at one time. I mean, you think about what we were trying to accomplish with very slim majority, Stephanie. I mean, I, I think back to history and with LBJ and FDR, they had uh, 100 plus majorities in the House and, you know, uh, huge majorities in the Senate. And we got a handful and we are about to accomplish something that has not been seen since that time. And so uh, I think in the end of the day, the American people just want us to get things done for them. Uh, and we're working on their behalf. On the contrast, uh, there's not much going on with the Republican side. They're trying to hide from the insurrection. Uh, they're trying to avoid this and that and block things instead of actually delivering for the American people. So I'm proud of our folks. Uh, it, it, it ain't easy all the time, but I'm proud of them because they're working on behalf of the American people.